Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Eileen with Unique Gifts and Decor by Lady Di. Happy Tuesday to everybody. I'm hoping everyone is having a wonderful day. I've had a wonderful day so far. Um, it's been a it's been a so so week so far, even though it's just Tuesday. But you guys, it is well. Um, today I went out and I did some um shopping today. I did a small haul. Um I showed you all that video earlier and I um ended up or I've been cleaning all last week okay spring is here but usually I do my spring cleaning so that's why I hadn't been doing any videos until one day last week and I try to get them all in but I make sure I do spring cleaning downstairs is done the windows carpets clean dusting vacuuming everything has been done for downstairs so i and <clears throat> excuse me in doing that that's when i had to organize my baskets which i showed you guys my status where i'm at my progress so far but i still got a lot to do and in my video i told you guys i got a lot in my head i mean ideas that i've got to get out you guys but anyway i am hoping everyone's having a wonderful day today and i just want to come on to do a concept using these buckets that i got from um dollar general okay and i showed these earlier that i got in my haul um and i got some last week but i didn't get that many but today um i just kind of you know went out and found some more which i could use not just for um mother's day um you can probably use these for any occasions. Um, you know, depends on what colors that you can put with it to um, going into the fall, even for Christmas. I mean, you know, the sky's the limit. But um, birthdays, anniversaries, just any occasion. These are nice buckets you can use. And they were only a dollar, okay? So that's a good thing. And they are on the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, they are on the green dot. So once the green dots go down in um, percentages, um, then these will probably end up pinning out if there will be any available. But on that note, you guys, I am going to use the green, the light green one. And I've already put it in my bag. So um, <clears throat> it's make it easier for me to assemble. But the um, bag is an 18 by 30, which I got from Amazon. It's not a strength wrap bag. It's just a regular cello bag, okay? So if anybody's going to ask you what size of the bag, it's an 18 by 30, okay? So also, I am going to add these items. Now, earlier in my video, I showed you guys this um, cutting board set. And um, it has the red dot on there. So basically, uh, this week, at starting today at Dollar General, everything that has a red dot on there is basically uh, one penny. So that was great in my favor. I picked up, I think it was six items that was a penny. So um, I was excited about that. So I am basing this basket really around this um, cutting board, which is a mar margarita a cutting board. It's two to a pack. So we're going to um, kind of focus everything around this. I have a um, dish cloth that I, um, dish towel, excuse me, that I got from, I think, um, Dollar Tree, which matches this uh, theme. Um, this Waverly Tea Tree Oil uh, Hand Lotion, I mean, hand, excuse me, hand soap. Um, I got this from Roses um, last, maybe last summer, and they came in different colors. I've got this candle that I got from, um, it's a scented candle that I got from the Dollar uh, General, and it was the purple dot. Um, I pick up candles, you guys. I'm not sure how much I paid for it, but it was down to the lowest percentage, okay? Um, this I got from Lido's. I'm not sure if you all have Lido's in your all's area. But um, I got this, I think it was right before Thanksgiving, maybe. The first time I ever went to Lido's. Haven't been back there since. I know the lady did tell me that they have sales on a weekly basis. Um, I think she said every Wednesday. But, you know, I don't even think about <laughs> Lido's when I am out shopping. I mean, the store was okay. You know, it has the groceries in there and has all different items. It's sort of like an upscale Audi. But, you know, I just didn't, I, I wanted to go because I've never been, so I can say, hey, at least I went in there one time. But, you know, maybe if I'm on that side of town again, I might go by. But, um, again, 
you know, we'll see. But this was the utensil set, and it's very, it's a Ferberware, very high end quality. Um, they were uh, um, originally, I think it was four something. Now I got this for two dollars, but it was on sale. I'm trying to get this tag off, you guys. So that's what I'm working with here. But um, I, I like the colors. They came in uh, red as well as this green. So I kind of think this green is really kind of matching uh, what I'm trying to do today. So that's why we're going to use that. These cups I got then has the little um, cactus on there, I guess. It, um, I got these from the Dollar Tree. So I was looking for those mar margarita glasses, but I didn't see any. But I think this is going to be suffice. Um, I did put some tissue paper inside so you can definitely still see the emblem up close. And while I was out in Walmart today, because I did find this cutting board, guy has some margarita mix. So, because I don't drink, I'm like, I know they got some kind of mixture or anything, but I'm not buying no alcohol. But the mix here, um, I guess you mix this in with whatever you make margaritas with. Um, is it vodka or I don't know. I don't drink. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to use this, okay? I got this at Walmart. Um, so we're going to just build this right quick. Um, now, what I have done, I've got a piece of cardboard that I'm going to stick on the back so that basically the items will um, sit up. Um, even though I do have the um, cutting board in here, we're just going to... Um, Put this in here to make sure it has extra backing, okay? Now, I am going to take my um, dishcloth and let's see if I can do it just right quick because I want it to hang over the basket a little bit. And this basket is a little tight, but I'd rather have it tight than loose because I am not shrinking the items. And once you have them tight like that, then basically... Um, the item should stay more sturdy in the basket. So on the left, on the this side here, we're just going to put the um. Let's put this here. Okay, so this much better. Okay, so we're going to put the um utensils there. We're going to put the margarita mix here, and I'm going to get one of my glue dots. Here, I'll be struggling with these dots, you guys. So, we're going to attach that to the cutting board so that will stay in place. And I'm going to also use a glue dot on the utensil so they can stay attached kind of to the cutting board as well. And it should hold it in place. If I can get it off my finger. Okay, now I am going to add my uh, candle here, and it doesn't have anything on here, so it's just basic there. I'm going to put my um, lotion, uh, excuse me, I keep saying lotion, but you guys, it is soap, and I'm going to put that in on top of the a candle and I'm going to put glue dots so that it will stay and secure in place there as well. I am going to take my glasses and put them on top of the on top of the um, towel and I definitely need glue dots there as well. I don't want them to not Stay together there. The amazing trick with glue dots. Now, I've got some shred that I'm going to use. Now, early in my video, you guys, I showed you guys this um, shred, but Dollar um, General has it as Easter grass. Same thing, but usually I get mine from the Dollar uh, Tree for $1.25. Dollar General has them for $0.50 cent now, and it'll probably go down to 70% or 75 later on, but this week it's 50%. So, um, I got a bunch of these, um, but um, they also have this kind too, this piece of grass here. Now, this is really grass, okay? This, to me, is shred, okay? 
So, um, last year I got so excited <laughs> about the sales after Easter and everything. Um, I think that it went down to the point where it was 10 cents. So I got so much of this, but I don't really like this kind, but it matches really good with this basket. So that's why I'm using it today. But remember earlier in my previous, previous, previous videos, you guys, I'm tongue tied today. I talked to you guys about strategically shopping, okay? Um, and because I can tell you all this, um, I've learned because what I did, I bought so much of this grass, it's ridiculous. I know I have about 50 uh, bags of this grass in different colors. I just got it. I was excited about getting it because of the price. But this is the first time in over a year I got this last Easter. I've used this. So you see what I'm saying? I was just not strategically shopping, just seeing a sale, buying, buying, buying. And not really using it. So I know you guys, I've got a whole bin and a half of these this grass, which I really don't like, but it matches. So we're going to just put it in here. But that's why I tell you guys, and please don't think I tell you stuff just to be talking. I tell you stuff because things I've experienced. And all I'm saying is when you know better, you do better. So when you are out doing all these um, hauls and shopping for things, Think about what you're going to use those items for. Because if you're not going to use them, you're just going to be like me. They're sitting in my garage in a bin, a bin, a one great big bin and a smaller bin. And I first time I've used this grass in 365 days. Okay? That's sad. But it happens. Okay? And a lot of other things I've bought in the past. Oh, my necklace needs to be turned around, you guys. I've bought in the past and... You know, I just don't use, so I just, I'm telling you guys to, when you're buying things, don't just buy them because they're on sale. Strate strategically buy things. I was so excited to get this margarita um, cutting board because I had an idea in my head how I was going to do this basket, and it worked out in just only a penny. I could see me buy, uh, using a penny, and people say, yeah, penny here and there. You know, but again, if I didn't have an idea to use it, I would have just left it on the shelf because I got so much stuff. It's not I'm bragging or anything you got. It's just the point that it's got to be moved or it's got to be designed. And in order for me to get some new stuff, because new stuff is a new season, new things are coming out, i got to get rid of the old. So just be careful when you're shopping, you guys. That's all. Now, I also um, got these roses from Timu, and I'm going to use... The blue and the green. Now, y'all say, why blue, Eileen? Because in my glass here, if you all can see, it has a little blue. So, I didn't want to do green, green all the way. You just want to put a pop of color in here, okay? So, that's why we're going to use the green. I think I have it on this side. So, we're going to do the green and the blue. And you can kind of decide on how you want to uh, put it here in the basket, how you want to attach it. But that's when you just add a pop of color. It does Everything doesn't have to be matchy-matchy all the time. Just, um, you, can have different, you can have different shades of green, and I do have different shades of green in here, but um, it blends together. But sometimes you just need that extra color to make it pop. Now, sometimes, now let me tell you a color that makes everything pop. If you add red to anything... It will make your items pop. I mean, it will just set your, um, whatever you're doing. It could be an accent wall, um, anything. Um, it's just that color red. I don't know what's with this red, but it will set your item off, okay? So, let's just finish this right quick. Now, my bag did bust a little bit because I've got it tight in here. But it's okay because I can put some tape on here. And if that ever happens, you just tape it down and keep it moving. Don't get discouraged. Um, and I can go get another bag, but you know what? I'm not going to waste a bag when I can just tape it here. And it's a cello bag, so it's really not going to hurt anything. Um, I do have some clear tape. Um, so, um, transparent tape is what you're going to be needing, okay? 
I do have one of these um, zip ties that I'm going to tie this together here with. Sometimes I use pipe cleaners. Sometimes I use these zip ties. You can get the zip ties at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I'm just saying, in my previous videos, I told you guys, um, you all, some of you all was just starting out getting your supplies and everything. And it's no harm um, getting your basic stuff at Dollar Tree. It's no harm in getting products for your baskets, to, um, especially the beauty products or whatever, in your baskets. But you always want to add a high-end item. And I don't mean it's a high-end mean expensive. You can go to the Dollar General and get one of those blankets. A blanket, a throw, uh, whatever that you're going to add. Just make sure that it's um, a nice picture frame that you might find in Target or whatever. Whatever it is, you just have to balance it out, okay? So, this is where I'm at so far. Now, where are my scissors? Excuse me, you guys. Right over here. Yay! I didn't have to go to the garage. I was talking to one of my girlfriends today. Hey, Natalie, I know you're watching me. <laughs> and she had me laughing so hard. You know, laughter is good for the soul. And she was, <laughs> she, was, she was telling you guys about my videos. She can say whenever I am missing something, I go to my garage. And then the gar my, my house talks to me because my alarm system, whenever you open the door or anything, the windows or anything, it will let, it has sensors that'll let you know what's, what's open, okay? And so um, we were talking, and she says, whenever I would forget something, I'd go to the garage, and she had it packed down. My garage door would say, um, garage door opening or the front door opening. I mean, the way she said it, I was like, wow. You know, it was just, it was crazy, but she had me laughing. You know, laughter is good for the soul. But I'm like, wow, she is really watching my video. <laughs> But I love you dearly, Natalie. Thank you so much for your support and your encouraging words. So, you guys, I'm going to use a bow, um, the bow dabber that I am going to use here. Um, I got from AC Moore's over 10 years ago, you guys. And um, I wanted to um, let you guys know that um, a couple of my subscribers um, has purchased the bow dabber. And it really... Um, surprised me that um you guys listen okay and i'm trying to look find out um that young lady's name because she did a video and it really blessed me you guys um her her channel is bb's bb apostrophe s sweet life um she responded to one of my videos that i did the other day and she said that she bought the Bodabra and it's working. She gave it great reviews and it was working for her. I was like, oh, well, I, I, I missed that. Um, but I didn't, I hadn't subscribed to her channel. So that's why I missed it. But in saying all that, you guys, um, she, this was the first time she bought it and she used it. And she said it is, you know, she, she did the demonstration and she was practicing as she was doing it. But, um. It seemed like it was a very simple um, process. I, t I totally tell you guys, I'm not trying to make this very hard for anybody. I, whatever is making it easy for me, I am willing to share. If it's something that is going to help build your business, make your baskets pop, look more um, exquisite, luxurious, whatever, I'm here to help, okay? But it just blessed me last night because when I, I saw the video, I was like, oh, wow, so... Somebody must be listening to me, you know, and it's not like I know everything, don't get me wrong, but if it's working for me and she uh, took a chance and bought it and did a review and mentioned me, I mean, that me that blessed me so much. So thank you, BB. Um, you all need to check out her channel. She is learning a lot of things. She's showing some beautiful, um, her, her baskets. So, you know, just check her out, okay? So this bow is um, the ribbon I got from Sam's, and I'm not going to use this one. I don't like this one. I think I'm going to use this one instead. So, I got it from uh, Sam's, um, and they were $7 and some change um, doing, right before, well, really before spring hit. So, um, and then it's the, it's 50 yards, it's one and a half inches wide. So, we're going to use that. And I got this also blue during Christmas at Sam's, okay? Um, 
I know it has the sparkles in there, but it, you can sparkle all year long. It don't have to be for Christmas. But um, blue is a color that I know I, I would probably be using all year round. So, you know, we're just, that's why I guess I put the blue flower here, okay, because I'm going to do my bow. So let's do this right quick. So, you guys, I've got my um, pipe cleaner inside my bow dabber, okay? Very simple, okay? I've got my ribbon, and you can duct tail it before or you can duct tail it after. It's up to you. You turn this toward this way. I know think she was doing it this way, but it's easier turning it towards you, okay? And then you just lay the ribbon inside. And it if it's a clear ribbon, um, you don't have to worry about twisting it. Um, the machine, you just lay it here and it'll, you know, you just twist it, it'll twist itself while you lay it. Depends on how many how big you want your bow to be. Um, is how many loops that you want for your ribbon, okay? So it's a very easy process to do, you guys. I promise you. And you don't have to worry about your arms being tired, your hands being tired. The machine does most of the work for you, okay? So we're going to do, let's see, we're going to do maybe, let's do four. We're going to do four loops on the green. And it's a sage green. And... So we're going to cut the ribbon here, and we're going to duct tail it on this side here. And then I'm also going to add the um, green, I mean the blue, sparkles. And I have got glitter all over me in my on my face, but you know. That's the cost to pay for being the boss. But anyway, you guys, I also wanted to show, uh, share with you guys um, our, my conversation. Not all the conversation, but something me and Natalie uh, talked about today. And, um, you know, it's good to, when you pick up the phone and somebody's just there to encourage you, even though I encourage, I try to encourage. You know, we all need encouragement. So every time we talk, you know, and it could be... <laughs> I know sometimes we, we've talked three hours at a time. I mean, that's how deep of a conversation that we've had. But she mentioned to me something that she said her mentor told her and she wanted to share with me today. And so sometimes, you know, in our prayers, we ask God to um, show us things or, you know, give us some word or some visions on some things. And he can speak to us through other people, speak to us through his word. Um, and just, um, pretty much, I don't want to limit him, but he, he will speak to you if we just settle ourselves and just get in our quiet time and listen. But she mentioned to me today, you guys, and it was, it's a powerful, um, quote. And she says her mentor told her to pay attention, A-T-T-E-N-T-I-O-N, -T -T -E pay attention and move with intention, I-N-T-E-N-T-I-O-N. -E Pay attention and move with intention. Very powerful. And that could happen in anything that we do. Just like I was showing you guys the shred, okay? I wasn't paying attention. I was just buying, sell, buying. But it wasn't me intentionally buying. Otherwise, I, this was what I was buying. Wasn't paying attention. But what I needed to do is move intentionally and pur purchase stuff that I would be using. So you see what I'm saying? When I say I'm strategically shopping, <sighs> that quote was for me. Okay, and I, I hope it helps some of you guys as well, but not just in our shopping, even in life. You know, God sends us signs all the time. You know, sometimes we, we be wanting miracles to happen. Well, miracles happen every day, but we just have to pay attention and keep our eyes open, ears open, keep our mouths shut. Because sometimes we block our blessings by running our mouths, okay? And have the faith and knowing that, you know, you wake up in the morning and say, God, I don't know what you got in store for me today, but Lord, open my eyes and let me see what you want me to see. 
and let me hear what you want me to hear and let me speak when you tell me to speak. Sometimes we just open our mouth and say stuff and God ain't even told us what to say. This stuff we you flesh gets in the way, okay? That happens a lot of times, you know? But again, if you are believing and wanting God to do and move in your life, then again, coming back to the natural and supernatural, as long as we're doing the natural, God will do the super, okay? We do natural, and what it is right now, Eileen, is naturally doing a basket, naturally shopping strategically. God's going to open the door for me and do the super. Just like I got the deals today on the... um on the shred. I mean, to me, that might be something little to you guys, but to me, it was a lot. I mean, you know, it's not that I couldn't pay a dollar for it, but the point I'm trying to tell you guys, we need to be mindful, okay? And sometimes when we are um, believing God for things or wanting God to do things in our life, then if he's revealed something to you, we can't tell everybody. Me and Natalie was talking about this today. Sometimes when God reveals things to you, it's at a point in time when he wants you to reveal it, okay? So sometimes when um, you just want to tell somebody about, you know, what God has done or whatever, or your dream or your goal, whatever you're trying to do, you can't tell everybody everything, you guys. I've learned the hard way. It can be family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, whatever. Some people are, there's jealousy out there, there's haters out there, and we all have them. Please don't think you don't, because if you are doing something for Christ, we, you're, you have haters, okay? So just be mindful, because Jesus Christ, he had haters. People hated him, and he didn't do nothing but love them, okay? But when God gives you a vision until the point in time for you to reveal it, then you will re reveal it. But what I am wanting to also say is sometimes... We get ahead of God. Sometimes we just get so excited about things and we just want to tell it. But again, sometimes we can block things because we move too soon or we open our mouths too soon. Okay? So in just saying all of that, you guys, just be mindful. Sometimes we got to move in silence. You know, the Bible has speaks about when you bless somebody, you do something for somebody, you do it in secret. You don't have to do it in public for everybody to see because you want to get praise from other people. Your reward comes from our Heavenly Father. So in that sense too, when God blesses you, he's going to bless you openly, okay? But sometimes in the process, we cannot tell everybody everything. I'm a living witness, okay? And sometimes I, in telling people some things, they don't want you to get ahead of them, okay? They don't want you to do better than or whatever. But whatever's for you, yes, it is for you. But sometimes you just let you just we gotta sit back and let God step up and elevate and elevate us. Not us elevating ourselves. But once He elevates us, it can't be stopped. It can't be taken away because whatever He places, when He opens up that door, that door is open for good. And when he shuts that door, you better, if he shuts that door, let him shut it. Because when he shuts that door, he has something much better for you. But when he, when you open up that door again, you're going to be in a worse situation than you were the first time. So in saying all of that, you guys, just be mindful. Pay attention and move with intention. Okay? So you guys, here is the finished product. Um, I don't know if it could be for Mother's Day. I'm going to put it out there for Mother's Day. Or maybe somebody might find somebody who likes margaritas and they can give to their girlfriend. Um, you know, or birthday, whatever. This is just something I just wanted to do. It might be out of the ordinary. It might be for Mother's Day. It might not. But what I'm designing, you guys, is not just for the holiday. Yes, I'm going to sell for that holiday. But it's not just for that holiday. I just want to put a smile on somebody's face, okay? So please... You all are pricing my items for me now. And as soon as I get all the pricing in, I'll price my baskets and I'll come back and show you guys what I have the final price on this. But I am leaving this up to you guys because you all are going to work this thing for me, okay? So I thank you guys for watching my video. Please like, share, comment. And um, please subscribe if you have not subscribed. Please, please subscribe because you guys, I've got some... 
whew, I got a lot of stuff that I got to bring to you guys. And the sooner I get it to you guys, the better. You all enjoy the rest of your evening and please be blessed. Bye-bye.